D-Day. What a show. Just think, 4,000 ships, half a million chaps turn up on your doorstep by surprise. Bit of a turn up for Harry Hunt's plus fours. You know, I reckon we'll have this whole show over by Christmas. Trust fund. You still a bit flat, Cathy, old boy? Don't worry, that happens to the best of us. When we go back from this show, we'll take you over to see the dog, give you one of his pills. Mind you, wouldn't do to get too confident. That's what did for Binky Brown. Out for a duck over Calais. Bought the farm? Kick the bucket. You know, we really are going to have to work on your banter, old boy. Trust fund. Hmm. Mind you, does make you think, what would happen to Judah and the Nippers if I wasn't around? Oh, there's a thought. And not a jolly one. You know, I was reading in here that old Churchill would have been a life insurance salesman if he hadn't gone into politics. Mind you, with a thousand blokes popping their cork every day, that's the game to be in, isn't it? <laughs> He's a wily old fox, that one. I suppose a chap should do something. You just never know, do you? One minute you're lining up for takeoff, and the next, pfft, Angels 3 0. And if this show is anything like the scramble for breakfast in the officer's mess this morning, it could get ugly. Really should make sure my little squad and have a roof over their heads. Trust fund. You know you're starting to make a lot more sense, old boy. I think I'll get my Batman to look into a little bit of life insurance when we get back from this show. Just enough to keep June in clover and a little left over to treat the kids. You know, even those paratrooper boys are getting life insurance and they're actually throwing themselves out of the aircraft. Lunatics. I think I'll write one of those will things as well. Skipper gave a talk about them last week. Tells the ground crew what to do if you don't make it back from a show. Trust fund. Yes, you can pop one of those in as well, apparently. Skip said something about being intestate if you float off with that one. Sounds a bit hard to swallow, like something Chef would make. Could leave June batting on a bit of a sticky wicket. All best avoided. Yes, yeah, so I will put belt and braces on the whole thing. God, blimey. This is a bit grown up before a show, isn't it? No any good jokes? <laughs>